going already. So I'm going to describe two different cultures. In one culture, there's an elephant in the room. And everyone is tiptoeing around it. No one is acknowledging it, engaging with it. They are just straight up ignoring this poor elephant. Over time, operating in this type of culture, you can begin to feel like you're suffocating. In the other culture, there's an elephant in the room. By the way, there's always an elephant in the room. Uh, but in this case, everyone in the room acknowledges the elephant with it. They embrace it, and in fact, the elephant becomes a part of their community. Over time, operating in these types of cultures, it gives you oxygen. I was recruited to serve as a consultant for a well-respected global organization. The moment I walked into the room, or stepped in the, their front door, the term rainbows and sunshine came to mind. Everyone was extremely nice. Uh, and the team was very excited about the prospect of working with me because I brought a wealth of experience and expertise to the table that was lacking across the organization worldwide. Now, my background in politics uh, has conditioned me to take on a more assertive, confrontational, and intellectually challenging leadership style. Now, throw that leadership style into a rainbows and sunshine <laughs> environment, and the results are quite fascinating. Uh, this is my diplomatic sarcasm. So fast forward to the first team meeting in this new environment. A lot of ideas are being thrown around and I immediately begin to do what I do, which is to defend or challenge both new and existing ideas being brought to the table. After the first couple of hours, I began to recognize that I was making certain people uncomfortable. Have you ever felt like you made people uncomfortable by simply being yourself? I started to wonder if I had become the elephant in the room. In my mind, I was here to challenge ideas, not people. My intent was not personal. I thought I was being a professional. But I continued to sense that some of my colleagues may have felt differently. After the first week, I started to feel uncomfortable. And I was beginning to wonder if this was an environment in which I could thrive. Over time, as time went on, my motivation declined. My creative energies felt blocked, and it became more and more difficult to generate, create, and innovate. I shared my reflections with the leadership team, and they validated most of my concerns, but disagreed with one. The response was, we are a highly innovative and creative organization. My immediately thought, saying you are creative and does it make you creative and innovative? My contract eventually ended and was not renewed. Although it was difficult to walk away from money on the table, I was relieved to walk away from a culture within which I had been stuck. 